Jay, what's up, man? What's good with you? Chilling Monday, we're back to work. Now we do it. All right, Jay, so we recently did an interview where I was asking you your thoughts about boxing media, right? Yeah. No one specific, but just is boxing media helping or hurting the sport? Yeah. And, um, you know, you singled out a couple of guys. You were somewhat critical. And yeah. you gave your, you know, your honest thoughts on, you know, what they do or whatnot. I felt like it wasn't dis disrespectful, but yeah, uh, they didn't they didn't take too kindly to your words. They brought you on your show. If anybody that's asking, we're referring to the boxing voice. So they brought you on your show. Yeah. They said their piece. Yeah, you said your piece. Now, <laughs> I got hit with a couple of strays. <laughs> yeah. I ain't sweating it though. Um, when I see them, we'll address it. Yeah. But um, today they actually uh, did a live and kind of took a, another dig at you. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, no funny money. Uh, this is this is real money. Yeah. This is Vegas. Yeah. I'm, I'm quoting. Uh, no wife beat a shit. Yeah. <laughs> Give me your thoughts on that. Honestly, I thought because we grown men and we got a chance to talk about it, I thought it, I thought that was a rat. You know what I mean? It really wasn't even, we really ain't even had to talk about it that day. He, but Ness basically begged me to talk about it because I said if we're going to talk about it, we might as well do it in person. That way we can get a better understanding because a lot of times when you, when you go, when you're doing shit over the phone or over the internet, it's a misunderstanding. And it really was a misunderstanding from the beginning from what I said. And I really wasn't throwing a shot at him. I was just saying sometimes shit go left when they doing these interviews or they coming up with these articles and they trying to, you know, basically make they, uh, the channel pop so they use crazy, you know what I mean, crazy situations the fighters go through to, to make the shit jump when really all we hear is, is for, for is boxing. So now they taking it, they taking it somewhere else, throwing shots and shit like that. And I'm really not an internet dude. I was born in 86 and the internet didn't come out till I probably say 1999, 2000, you know what I mean? By that time I'm almost a teenager. Um, so I don't understand this back and forth shit, but really, like him, I don't know what he was referencing to with all the Vegas, the money. I don't even know how that came out. But then when he said the wife beater shit and all that, you said that because the other day you posted an uh, interview we did and I had a wife beater on. We did two interviews. Obviously, I got a wife beater on because the weather's getting nice. I'm enjoying myself, but we in the gym. You know what I mean? We working. But since we throwing shots, Ness, you really not even allowed on the East Coast no more because you told on your folks back in December 2nd, 2009. I did see the paperwork, and it is you, Nestor Gibbs. That's definitely you. Um, so I really don't even understand how you even got into boxing. I don't understand why you think you crazy. I don't understand why you think you're going to keep saying shit, but we ain't going to do that. We, You a rat, and we're going to keep it like that. And I really shouldn't even be addressing a rat, but you, you, the people have to know. You didn't you didn't uh, stand from a stance of a civilian. You was in the game, and you told on somebody that was in the game. And then Danny, your man, since he with you, he a baby rat. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Chuck E. Cheese and fucking whatever y'all want to call it. Like, that's how. so that's how we going to carry that, like. I don't know, Mill. That shit got me fired up right now, though. Not even fired up like on some shit, but just on some shit where why y'all keep trying to drag it along? Like, so since we're going to drag it along, since we're going to throw shots, they go a shot for you. You know what I'm saying? And you can't fix that because that definitely was you. You told on a couple people that day in front of the laundry mat, you know what happened. You understand? I saw the paperwork. DEA shit. Stop bullshit. You know what I mean? So since we going to throw shots, I'm letting the streets know Vegas, y'all dealing with a rat right now. Bill Haney, you be letting a rat come in the gym and be and, and be recording y'all. And anybody else that be around him. He's a dangerous person to be around. Something could happen to one of y'all just because you standing next to a rat. And he told on some serious people. And now he out there trying to live. I don't know. Now everything Vegas. He reminded me of Pac when Pac switched up. Pac was Pac from Maryland. Now you end up out LA. Now you a blood and all this other shit. Like, no, we ain't. We not gonna do that. We not gonna start no new shit. Like, let's keep it where it was at. I left it alone. I wasn't gonna say nothing else. But then here, somebody shoot me a video. Yo, G, why they still feel some kind of way about the studio boy shit? And that's and I didn't call y'all studio boys. The, the term is bull, and that's just how we talk here. And I use the term because y'all in the studio. That's what y'all do. It's no disrespect, y'all. But that's all I was saying was that's where y'all see y'all angle of boxing from the studio. But since y'all wanna drag it along, Master Splinter, I do what you recording. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, crazy. And I ain't never tell on nobody, so I won't even. You look my name up, a bunch of boxes shit gonna come up. 
stop that. Everybody tough. When he be on there talking to the viewers and the callers, he be talking all crazy, like big time gangster. I'm even mad at myself for having this conversation right now and unloading the way I am because you're really not supposed to address rats, but it's like, that's where, it's like, you're not gonna keep going at me. I don't play that shit. And one you told on your man. One of the reasons why I would, I would have rather you done the show in person yeah. is to avoid situations like this, to right. where as though, it, it just seems like dudes get extra spicy yeah. when it's, you know, across internet. the, yeah, internet across the airwaves. Yeah. When two men are sitting there, the energy is completely different. Yeah. That's why I said, yeah. when I see them, we'll, you know, we'll address the little shot, the, the, you know, the little subliminals that they made about me. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sure I'll, I'll be out to Vegas soon, or I'll run into uh, one of them dudes at a fight. Yeah, and it was and it was shit that you was even trying to ignore. They was basically trying to say you don't get around and all. Like, Mill, you put in work, man. Like you said before, you one man doing this shit, bro. You don't have no team of people. You know what I mean? So on and so forth. But for, if y'all sitting on this high platform and y'all getting all this money, why y'all even worrying about what we say out of our mouth? But since we going there, you know, you told on that man. I think it was a couple dudes. I mean, well, that's where we at with it. Yo, I mean, uh, speaking of those comments, I love my city. Yeah. I want to bring exposure to my city. Now, mm -hmm. have I been to other places, other gyms? Yeah. That just show that, you know, that's a lazy narrative that people that really, really don't watch my shit, they may watch it for specific dudes. Yeah. Maybe a Boots, maybe a Cool Boy, but they don't really watch the channel. Right. So, I, you know, I've been to a couple places. Um, right. A couple gyms in Florida, Fifth Street Gym. Yeah. Um, uh, Pro Box Gym, yeah. Upton Gym, yeah. Gyms in Jersey, yeah. Gleason's in New York, Williamsburg. I've been yeah. in a couple spots, man. Yeah. And I, and I don't want nobody to think I'm making it up. So, you know what I mean? We ain't gonna do that. You know I mean, cause I never knew that man name. Everybody called him Ness. Then I get, I get it in the mail. Nestor Gibbs, like that's definitely you, cousin. Told on that ball, man, in front of that laundry mat. You know what you was doing that day. And the crazy thing is, how you wake up knowing you was gonna do that? Like, now I'm looking at you funny. Like, what kind of guy are you? Do you really wear glasses? Is your hair really bald? Like, you feel me? <laughs> like, knowing you told on your man, like, that's crazy. And you, and then you going, and see, what I don't like is now you coming to the boxing industry, now you trying to infiltrate with the block, through boxing, and they act like you somebody else. When the whole time, you was an ex-drug dealer, then now you, because you told all these people in Newark, New Jersey, now you got moved to Vegas, and now you trying to live a whole... No, we ain't going to let you live that now. We're not going to do that. I wasn't going to say nothing, but you just kept... I don't know. You took it somewhere else. You took it somewhere else. So fuck him now. Like, and the little fat dude, Danny. Like, you know what I'm saying? Him too. Because he rolled with him. That's his man. So whatever go his way, go his way too. Fuck him. That's just what it is. I don't feel no kind of way. Sorry to my mom and dad I had to act this way. You know what I mean? Big game. What's up? Shit crazy, though. <laughs>